Hello, viewers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Balsamic Moon Tarot. And I am here with a different kind of reading. I think it would be really interesting to do a sort of experiment. And the goal of today's reading is to actually help you improve your own intuition, um, to improve your own abilities as a seer. And my my idea for how to do that is to simply uh, pull a whole bunch of cards, tarot and oracle cards, and just repeat the signs, like the symbols, um, the symbols, the images, the situations, like any context, any hints of context, um, that you would be able to identify as relevant for you. So it's sort of like an exercise in synchronicity. So, um, and I'm thinking maybe there will be three piles ultimately, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We're going to just go with this and see what happens. But it, it, this is an exercise in synchronicity. So, um, the more signs you can connect to your own life, then it's like the, the more emphasis. And the idea is to not try too hard. Don't try to connect the dots. Just think of this as like going with the flow, um, you know, entering a body of water and like floating there and just being relaxed, right? And just just trying to pick up more on the the current and the you know kind of feeling yourself like bob bobbing on the waves i don't know if you know how to float not everybody is able to float in the water but if you can imagine it it's it's very calming it's very relaxing and it's all about releasing it's releasing all the tension in your body and just floating with the water like floating wherever that water is taking you don't you know it's very calm water don't be alarmed don't be afraid of the currents or you know it's not like you're hearing any um any waves in the distance you're just in this very serene setting like a large body of water a lake or you know right in in the sea in a lagoon imagine yourself being somewhere that you feel safe and you're just releasing and letting go and and centering on your breath too right so with that um, I'll just say a few more things to give you an idea of my own philosophy um, because also it's about having an energetic match with me as a reader and I don't think any reader should have so much influence on your life that you put what a, a reader says above your own intuition. Your intuition is what should guide you and readers um, give you affirmations because you know what they're saying is actually connecting to you it's it's affirming what you know deep down on your own right um that said i also if something you might notice in my readings is that i don't really have a lot of objects here like i don't have uh, a a large collection of crystals and um I don't use sound necessarily like the singing balls and stuff and I think all of that stuff is amazing it's just been my approach it's just been my path to um, really simplify my practice and to approach it very um, very simply and I believe the most powerful tool you can have as an intuitive or as a reader or as a seer or as a psychic, you know, whatever word you want to use for this, the most powerful tool you can have is a sound mind and body. And the reason why I phrase it that way, sound mind and body, because it's one thing. It is an interconnected system. And I also use the word sound because sound has many meanings, right? And it also, it, in this context, what it means is um, sound as in like whole. Um, if you have a vessel, the vessel, you know, have you ever tried the experiment where you have a, 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 a wine glass with water and you dip your finger into the water and, and you just put it on the rim and that 
resonates the the glass so that it creates a ring and <laughs> I'm terrible at explaining this stuff I'm sorry I'm I, I I'm really bad at explaining science and even I, I I have I didn't like brush up on this but my point is that resonance requires integrity okay of a structure so that experiment of you know tr of using like even the singing bowls right the singing bowl doesn't work if there's a crack in it so sound mind and body refers to that integrity that wholeness this doesn't refer to perfection it just refers to wholeness okay so um I'm not saying that some of us are perfect and others aren't, and therefore it's only the perfect beings who, you know, are, have intuitive gifts. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the most powerful tool you can bring to this is sound, mind, and body. It's, I'm just saying it starts there. That's the foundation. Because sound, mind, and body, it's about having the groundedness, perhaps with a meditation practice or even a prayer practice, or even just, you know, being very physically balanced, being able to tune into your breath and clear your mind. And, you know, maybe it's it's walking meditations that you use. Maybe it's exercise and like swimming. You know, it, there are so many ways to approach this and to enter into this. But sound mind and body is really, it's really to, for me to, to emphasize that we, you know, to, to, to receive messages and to understand those messages require, um, a, in a sense, being empty, right? Being empty of your emotional distress, being empty of your, um, Trump, 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 your pain, your painful memories of the past, um, tra um, traumatic, like, residual energy even right and so it so the the intuition comes to us when we're calm when we feel safe when we feel the so that's what allows that inner voice it's it's it doesn't come about when we are paranoid it doesn't come about when we're fearful um we need to be wary of any messages we think we're receiving when we're fearful and anxious and so I'm just putting this out there because I, I know that I, I have a responsibility to, um, you know, to encourage people to, to be uh, intuitive only when they're ready for it. I am not encouraging you to do this if you're not ready for it. And I am discouraging you from from uh, doing this if you're not ready for it. So you have to use your own judgment on that if if you think you're ready for it. Um, but there are you know there are signs when you are and you aren't. So I think one sign that you're ready for it is if you've acted on your own intuition, if you've had your own, um, if you've received your own guidance, and you acted on it, and it really did help you in real life. Did it show up for as an improvement in your real life? Did your health improve? Did your relationships improve? Um, did you start receiving uh, more stable income and, and your stability in life improved? Okay, these are signs that the intuition you act on is sound. It's, it's working for you. It's from source, okay? And, and I say that because um, ultimately, you know, we're here to live a life on planet Earth. We're not here, I mean, some of you may be <laughs> here for this, but I think most of us are not here to sort of like live on a mountaintop and just meditate 24 hours a day or you know, 18 hours a day. <laughs> most of us are here to live our lives that are very complicated, that, you know, have ups and downs, um, that definitely have challenges and limitations. And so um, I also don't use the word ascension, right? You don't really hear me using that. Um, because we're, we're here to be on planet Earth, and planet Earth is a goddess. Planet Earth is a divine entity. We're here to, we're here as creations of Earth. We're here as Gaia's creations. And so I believe that being devoted to, to planet Earth 
is the highest calling, you know, being um, someone who understands, who wants to understand how life on planet Earth thrives and exists and all the interconnected systems in our environment, um, you know, all the beautiful relations and kinships that exist in, in nature and in societies. These are all ways to, to be devotees of planet Earth. And so that's where I come from. That's, that's a big part of my philosophy and um, my, my beliefs, my, you know, very personal kind of personal belief system, right? I, I also don't subscribe to an organized religion here. So um, that being said, if all of this was resonating for you, if that, if that feels like aligned with you, then I would proceed. <laughs> But if it doesn't, you know, feel free to proceed because you're just curious. But, you know, it, it, I just want to put that out there. Um, everything starts with an intention. Everything should start with an intention if, if possible. You know, sometimes we can't be intentional in everything we do. But it's always good to try. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's get started. So, I'm just going to... Let me, let me see... Let me do this in three rounds. I think that's what would be interesting. And I'm not going to do three separate piles. I'm just going to get started and, and treat this more like a, a, a real flow state. But I'm going to see it as three different phases. So the first phase, I'm going to pull cards and I'm going to identify signs, symbols. Also, I'm going to ch you know channel, transmit any messages, any phrases. Um, and then I will tie it up with my interpretation of at least one of the messages trying to come through but ultimately your interpretation and what you're receiving as the message is is really the goal and the most important thing here so with that being said let's get started i feel like we want to start here and go clockwise so i'm going to start with this deck the first signs the first symbols messages to experiment with this synchronicity. We have the Five of Pentacles here. Okay, I am seeing, we have the Emperor. Okay, first of all, I am seeing a wallet. I'm seeing an empty wallet. Um, oh, interesting, a missing wallet. So if you've come across a missing wallet recently, like someone else's wallet, that, that uh, could be a synchronicity here. With the Emperor, <clears throat> even um, if you have like a bill or a tax bill or an invoice in your vicinity right now, something, you know, like a directive, an order, you need to pay this bill. <laughs> a paycheck, a pay stub could also be like something like um, a symbol of money, a, a representation of money in check form. Um, invoice statement bank statement that's also a, a synchronicity so again if you're like seeing it right now where you are right now if it's in front of you that's a synchronicity we have the magician we have the three of wands okay the three of wands and then the wand of the magician makes four and then five. Well, I would say the number three or the number four or the three and four together. So 34 and 43. 34, 43. Those are two numbers also. Could be a synchronicity for you. All right, let's keep going. I want to cut this deck. Quarters, I'm hearing quarters or coins, if you collect coins, something you're really interested in. We have the seven of swords here, we have the five of wands here, and we have the three of wands. Wow, look at that. You, that's very cool, and it's, a, it's just a connection, right? This is a connection to source. We have the three of wands, and then the three of wands came out right below it. So, um... If you play chess, I would say if you're someone who's really into chess, this is synchronicity. If you're someone who's learning chess, playing chess, really obsessed with chess, this is a 
this is one of your signs. Um, archery is also showing up here, bow and arrow, archery. The Three of Wands, I believe that, we'll leave that at that. The Three of Wands just being a, um, a confirmation. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Oh, oh. Wow, so I'm going to take these two cards. eagle the bald eagle that's a sign the bald eagle you are more uh this landscape is interesting like a sahara desert like a desert full of sand but i think the bald eagle is a sign for sure action leads to success that's what this oracle card says and we see here dragons okay dragons maybe you're born in the year of the dragon the chinese year of the dragon um, the dragon here is also showing to me, you know what, both these animals are soaring into the sky. You might be someone who relies on planes a lot. The plane might be a uh, synchronicity here, an image, uh, a dream in which you've been in a plane, a dream in which you were flying a plane, a dream in which you were flying. Like, even as a bird, flying as a bird. Um, I mean, maybe you're a pilot. <laughs> maybe you you wanted to be a pilot or you want to be a pilot. That's also possible. Um, but yeah, those are some additional signs. Let's keep going. So again, the point is, if you are getting, like, multiple connections to what I'm saying and, and these particular signs or these particular scenarios, then, you know, that is your, that is a connection for you. And that is a, a sign that what you're doing to improve your intuition is working. We have the praying mantis here now. The praying mantis. Prayer. Hmm. I want to leave this praying mantis here. I'm not going to interpret that. I'm just going to put that out there. Maybe you've come across a praying mantis. Maybe you see praying, praying mantis in your dreams. But putting this there in case that is meaningful to you. Let's see what else. mystery and we have a tree here a tree in a sailboat uh, a tree in a canoe so i'm getting uh an image of being someone who is transporting the mystery someone who is keeping the mystery safe from harm also um you might be someone who's protecting a secret maybe protecting a secret within your family or protecting a secret um just in in some very big meaningful way in your life we have storm you could be someone who deciphers the secrets so you could be someone who studies weather or predicts storms predicts weather or even just loves to do that loves to do that as a hobby storm chasing goodness okay so we have someone here I think about the, a meditative pose. So it's possible that you practice meditation, and when you practice meditation, uh, particularly like a you know a, a, tr a Eastern school of meditation, right? Um, certain poses that you do that help your meditative practice. It's possible that that does bring you joy, goodness, peace. It it's something that is definitely helping you. And now we have here duality with the two circles um, and the overlap there, duality, okay. 
duality. Yeah, I keep thinking about a uh, secret and deciphering that secret. Um, you know, maybe codes, right? Dual messages. So something is written one, there's something that is written, but you're deciphering the code, you're deciphering the message, you're unlocking the mystery of that message. Wow. Powerful. There's the tree being in. See, the tree here stands uh, safe and solid, but we see a storm surrounding the tree and it's showing like a windy scenario, windy situation. So you definitely um, connect with uh, storm imagery. Uh, okay, one more card here. Taking risks. <laughs> Okay, so this is a hawk, or a hawk or an eagle, but I have to say, that's pretty cool, right? We've got the eagle here, and we've got the the the, the eagle, or the hawk, but we've, I'm sorry, I can't identify that. I think it's a, I think it's a hawk. I think it's a hawk. But we have the eagle and we have the hawk here, which both depicts the, these, you know, these birds of, of prey, right? These are... Birds of prey soaring in the sky. So I do think you also have a high level job. Like you do something that either requires a lot of travel. So you're spending time in planes. You're traveling all around the world. Or it's also this high level job where you you know a lot. You know a lot because you um, have a position that makes you privy <clears throat> privy to this information so you know being able to decipher um uh information that's kind of held secret uh closely guarded okay being able to decipher that being able to understand that trafficking in it maybe okay so information information specialist information I mean, maybe a technologist, maybe you're working with code, maybe you are, uh, you actually write computer code, um, maybe you parse a lot of data, um, maybe you're studying, uh, you're trying to see the future, that's another um, thing with the, the eagle, the hawk, they're, you know, they are capable of seeing what's ahead because they're so high up, they see that distance right you're seeing into the distance of the future you're seeing the signs and the trends okay forecasting trends forecasting weather wow so if all of this is connecting this is just an affirmation that you, you know your intuition is strong or your intuition is improving and therefore instead of getting a message from me you can get a message directly from your your own guys you don't need me <laughs> eight of blades okay eight of swords eight what could eight be there i see these two hands hmm. you know i am thinking about prisoners i'm thinking about handcuffs maybe you're an air marshal three of blades all right, there's a diamond here. Could it be blood diamonds? Could it be the crime of, you know, financial crimes or um, crimes in business trade, litigation, business litigation? Student of Vessels, this refers to the Page of Cups. Um, maybe there is a grandmother figure. Maybe there's an elder in your life that's very important to you. Someone, it's almost like, you know, what I'm seeing is someone who, you might be someone who's like very, accompl very accomplished in your career. And that's a result of very specialized knowledge you have or very specialized skills. So, you know, you might have a, uh, you might have a, a very high income or, uh, you know, a lot of authority in your role um, and a lot of uh, 
expertise, you know, so you're able to um, uh, garner like high speaking fees or high consultation fees for what you do. And yet there's this sensitive side to you. I'm seeing here a very sensitive spiritual side to you that is kind of in the nascent stage. Um, and I think it comes back to your grandmother or another important elder in your life, someone who uh, helps you reconnect back to that child self, that inner child of yours, you know, the, the side of yourself that was full of a sense of wonder and didn't see the world in just numbers and number crunching and code and, you know, and uh, industry numbers and stuff. Someone who was uh, something about you that has a very, art uh, I was about to say artistic, but I feel like it's a nascent spiritual side. Um, it's a more sensitive side of you. Maybe you like to read poetry um, or there's like a particular poet that you're drawn to. I'm also getting that. So, wow. Okay, so this is the phase one. Um, yeah, to synthesize this message, I believe that... I believe that if this is the... If, the, if, these, if these signs were uh, connecting to you and correlating things for you... Um, Hmm. There is something here. See the three of swords with that page of cups. There is something here about believing. Okay. You are now starting to believe and that's a good thing. That's a beautiful thing. So that's the message simply that, you know, you are starting to believe you've, you've, you've come this far. You've come very far in achieving, but now you are ready to believe in something uh, more spiritual uh, something that is spiritual, something that is not the realm of, you know, science or the realm of um, uh, economics and, you know, kind of these industries, not, not the realm of business and industry. Now you're ready to believe in something that's been with you all along, okay, which is, I believe that's, that is your intuitive gift. That's, that's your ability to forecast. I believe you do have your, your own intuition here that has been guiding you. You just didn't interpret it that way, okay? But now you're starting to understand the source of it. There's a, there's a deeper source of it. Okay, wow, that's cool. Let me, I'm just going to clear these cards. I'm going to pause the video for that. <clears throat> okay, starting this again. Maybe you were here from the beginning and you got everything you needed. And you don't need to watch anymore. Or maybe you just want to keep going with this and keep seeing what other messages might come through for you. So we're going to start this whole process over again. I'm just going to pull cards and, and share the messages, the signs, the symbols I'm seeing. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Tower. I'm seeing sports. I'm seeing a, a sport like... Oh, wow. Did you take a gamble on a game and you lost some money? That's possible. Um, we have the tower. We have the double card. Okay, this one had to come out. No, it's this one. Wow, we have the star. That's really cool. Um, okay, so... So far, we have sports and maybe even gambling and losing some money in that. I think we also have oh wow this tower there might be a building that you pass by every day like maybe you on your way to work on your way from work there might be a particular tower or skyscraper that's very like it always catches your attention and um, that might be another sign for you the devil the devil the goat Maybe even the sports mascot is like related to the goat or horned creature. The star card. Well, stars. Something about galaxies here. This is more like the symbol of the galaxies, uh, a particular constellation maybe. Maybe you were reading about a constellation recently. Um, something in the stars, something aligning in the stars. Okay, let's keep going. We have the hanged man here. 
we have the two of pentacles we have the nine of pentacles and in terms of symbols i'm seeing well we have a rainbow this boat with an anchor and a castle castles in the sky i think castles in the sand castles in the sky there might be a song this might refer to something castles in the sky apples apples magnet for me it's these apples there's something about these apples okay maybe you've maybe you just bought apples today nine of pentacles grapes and also the wine goblet and there's a songbird. I feel like this this bird is singing to the woman. Is there a, a bird singing? Is there? Can you hear a bird right now singing? Um, the anchor makes me think about something else here. Were you in the navy? Did you have a a parent or someone close to you who was in the navy? Or a scuba diver where they you know someone something to do with the ocean and being tethered to the ocean being in like really spending a lot of time in the ocean um, so that could be Navy that could be scuba diving or other some kind of uh, fisherman maybe like deep-sea fishermen but definitely extended periods of time in at sea okay that's another sign that your intuition is speaking to you Oh, you know what? I see a woman here singing. There's a woman in your life who is a singer or a, or a musical person. And they, yeah, I feel like they're very important to you. So maybe that's what that is. That could be a sign. Synchronicity. <clears throat> Get out of your head. <laughs> we have a rooster here. Rooster. Oh, oh, inner conflict resolution. Okay, we have, um, is that Thunderbird? This looks like uh, a, a Native American uh, mythical bird. I might be wrong on that, but that's what it's making me think about. We also have the snake, but it's coiled up, so it makes me think about the Kundalini rising. I just got this message that, you know, you may be someone who, who has a family history of mental illness and you are really con you you know you you're aware of that and you try to live your life so that this uh risk of mental illness doesn't affect you you know doesn't harm you but i do think that's one message coming through here if that relates to you but i think you're going to be okay the inner conflict resolution this is about feeling uh finally feeling like com closure feeling closure in these fragmented aspects of yourself um, maybe you've had to compartmentalize something in your life and you're feeling like it's actually healing that inner conflict is healing and you're able to um, inter uh, you're able to integrate like your memories and your and your um, beliefs into uh, one more um, whole, you know, that's about wholeness, right? That's about finding, making peace within yourself and finding peace within yourself. Perhaps there was a very painful memory from the past, um, maybe even to do with the family and the, the, the mental illness family history, okay? So you're coming across some inner peace now by uh, getting a sense of closure. Um, so that's a very good sign. And that's also related to the star card. That's the healing with the devil. That's the healing of um, that is the healing of an illness, particularly one that um, is psychological in nature. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Maybe you've started singing lessons. <laughs> you've started to, to play music or practice music. Or you didn't 
you know, you played music as a kid, you played an, a musical instrument, or you sang, and that was like something you did in your past, but then this painful thing happened and you stopped playing music, but now you're able to play music again because you see it's like the closure and the ability to heal a painful memory and a painful past and a, an inner rift. It's healing your psyche so that now you feel like safe and ready to play music again. Wow, that's beautiful. If that's you, that's really beautiful. Okay, we're going to keep going. I'm, I'm trying not to interpret this. I'm trying not to um, say too much on any interpret interpretations, but I, I just, I'm connecting those dots right now in case that is your, in case these are the signs that resonate for you. I ended up pulling from this deck again. Focus on the big picture. Okay, we have a lighthouse, a bee, a crown, the royal bee. And is that a hawk or a falcon? Okay. Well, there is a bird there. Definitely a bird of prey. Which is also making me think about, now we have three birds being represented here. And we have that rooster. And get out of your head. Focus on the big picture and the lighthouse. Yeah. The lighthouse is about shining up the light on something too so i think also you might be uh you might have taken a step to come out publicly about something um maybe you've even been on a stage talking about something personal uh, but i feel like i see you here like you know the light is shining on you and there's a spotlight on you or you're putting the spotlight on something else all right let's keep going signs signs symbols messages of synchronicity Okay, these two. <laughs> we have the bee. What did I just say? Look at this bee. Bee with the crown. Okay, right there in that corner. Let me see if you can. There's the bee. And there's the bee again. Okay, beautiful synchronicity there. And we have the whale. Oh my goodness. We were just talking about the deep sea and like really being out at sea for a long time. So the whale, beautiful. It's possible that you've been wanting to go out at sea, that that is your dream. And the bee is working towards that. Um, the bee with this crown on it that is really interesting yeah the bee accomplishes something over time the bee t does something little by little but over time it creates this you know it, it creates the the hive and and the beautiful honeycomb just by these repetitive steps Doing something little in in repetition, creating this bigger structure. Okay, well, that's one thing. Maybe that resonates with you. Let's keep going. These three. Uh, and oh, okay. Now we have five cards. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna take these garden hand with an eye in the palm get out of your head there kindreds okay yeah guarded against the family guarded towards the family breath you see the three birds okay three birds is what we saw earlier three different birds on three different cards and then breath so that also relates to singing vocalizing speaking out uh speaking out your truth wildness wow so you look at that wolf that wolf is howling so again it's it's the it's like the truth is out right the truth comes out and and we see that with the tower the devil and the star the star is also about having an elevated presence be having a higher profile being feeling safe enough to 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 put uh to put yourself in the public's eye so i also see that with wildness with this wolf just letting it out. It's like letting your primal self say 
you know, speak out your truth, expressing it, uh, the catharsis when you, when you release that, you know, what you've been hiding away or penting, it's like builds up tension that you just release that. And that's also the form of healing is that catharsis that now you've, you've, you've exercised that devil, right? It's like you've, um, you banished it just by the force of your, your true nature, your, your emotional power and truth. We have void here, okay? Another hand showing up, which is interesting that they're sort of bookending. <clears throat> void. I hear voiding the past. Yeah, voiding the past. Okay, let's keep going. Null and void, okay. Wisdom, wow, this ocean symbol coming back. And here's a mermaid, oh my gosh. And the mermaid is made of stars. Let me, let me give you a chance to see that. The mermaid is made of stars. And remember I was talking about the galaxy, a constellation, maybe your Aquarius, maybe your Pisces. Okay, this says wisdom. Let me put it here. I'm going to pull on another card. Leadership. So we see the galaxies. We see this, the galaxy. Well, you know, we see the space and the stars in space again. And now we see the, the polar bear. Is that Polaris? Maybe? But I love that this and the wildness of the wolf also aligns there and it's again talking about you know um uh that nature you know this is the true nature this is about the primal self that's aligned with the forces of nature um wow okay let's keep going I'm gonna cut this deck couple more cards here we have healer of blades this is going to be knight of swords we have nine of vessels that's the nine of cups okay so additional signs I keep seeing the caduceus here, even though that's not it, but it reminds me of the caduceus, which is related to the uh, medical profession, right? The doctor, the, the symbol for medicine. These are leaves. Healer of blades. Healer of blades. Knight. I believe this is the Knight of Swords, yeah. Healer of Blades. Oh, this just came to me. Do you, are you a practitioner of tattooing? Do you have tattoos? Do you uh, create tattoos? Nine of Vessels, which is the Nine of Cups. I feel like what's showing up here You know what? There's there's a talking circle. There's a talking circle. This this chair is right in the center, um, in front of these other chalices. So they're sharing. There's like a group sharing, and you know what? That makes me that makes me think again about the star card and having that voice that's elevated. It's like speaking your truth, and it's now being received by others. Um, so it could be talk therapy, it could be group therapy, and you're finally speaking truths that you were, you know, were sort of like kept bottled in or they were harming you because you wouldn't express them and now you've expressed that. Um, that's also the Knight of Swords energy of, you know, healer of blades. So it's like the truth is the sword you're wielding now and you're protecting yourself with this. You're, you're now the one who is able to heal others and to heal yourself. By, by wielding this 
sort of truth. Um, and you know, there's the wolf again with the fangs, right? So it's like the wolf being a fierce creature with fangs, the bite, that bite of the truth, but that's what keeps them safe is the fact that they can protect themselves. And they also have the bee and the bee stings, okay? So the sting of the bee, uh, again, the truth may be uh, painful, but the truth is what sets you free. And the truth, it's the truth and being aligned with the truth that allows for healing. Okay, wow. So that is, <laughs> that. the cards are all on the table now. If you had multiple um, synchronicities with this, then that is a confirmation that your own powers of intuition are, uh, you know, improving and working and, you know, to definitely follow your own guidance, follow your intuitive voice uh, in, in, in um, you know, guiding guiding your life guiding what you're doing here but i do see a theme here of um talk therapy or other forms of therapy any anything that expresses the truth and helps you get centered in in your own um you know centered and confident makes you feel confident in who you are and and you know being in touch with your true nature so not being ashamed of who you are um embracing your wild self embracing the, the the part of you that is primal and raw and has that fierceness and that has that survivor's mentality that survivor's instinct um i'm seeing that and again this inner conflict resolution right um you're able by being able to protect yourself now and feeling like you know i didn't get to speak up for myself before but now i can speak up for myself and that's the sense that you feel safe because you feel like you can speak up for yourself now. There's wisdom in the in the ocean, so the ocean may be drawing you in. Uh, you know, maybe there's a a trip somewhere where you're going to go out on a boat or you're going to spend time at sea. It's also possible this is in your family history, so family history of mental illness, but also family history of like uh, people by the sea, people who are who are fishermen or people who are. Um, uh, um, the Navy, in the Navy, um, scuba diving, you know, people who do research in the ocean or swim in the ocean a lot. That's what I'm getting here. Um, and then the lighthouse, right? So it's like you, you and the lighthouse, that tower, it's like that lighthouse, that's about the truth. That's about the spotlight and how the lighthouse is a beacon of hope. So that's your life, your energy, you put out a beacon of hope just by speaking your truth. Whoa. <laughs> so cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, that's, that's so beautiful. I'm really inspired by this. I'm going to leave that here. And I'm going to pause the video so that I can just clear the cards. Hello. <laughs> Something interesting happened. Um, I was filming the last phase. Uh, the, you know, of this video, which would have been like a third go round to just start, start again, start over and pull some cards for synchronicities and signs. And then I stopped and I, I was finished and I realized, oh, I didn't unpause the video. I didn't actually record what I did, <laughs> which is totally fine because I think as, um, you know, I won't, I won't try to go back and redo the whole thing. I think I will just sum up. <clears throat> I mean, if you know, if you see any cards here that you're respond that you connect to, like this white rabbit, the sun, um, the chrysalis, the hermit, the seasons with the whirl, um, the boat drifting. We also have a dormant volcano here. We have openness and the full moon. Okay. Um, we have the brain. So one thing I did, uh, I'll do, I will mention this. If you are someone who's been having headaches and really suffering from migraines or headaches, and you're you're on a new medicine or a new diet uh, dietary restriction to try to mitigate that and help that, um, you know, I do think there's and there's the rose of the thorns. I I do think that uh, you will get some healing soon. Um, 
and a chance to recover soon. It's all related to being in solitude and spending some time alone. And maybe that meant like a facility. Maybe you've done that recently where you had to be at the hospital and, and felt, you know, kind of alone and in solitude. Maybe it's been a retreat. You've been on a, a nature retreat or a personal retreat. Um, but yes, yeah, solitude in general will be helpful for you. So it was interesting. I finished and then I realized, oh my gosh, the video is never done. So I guess that video was never meant to reach you. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it is, it was talking about, again, the hermit and this dormant volcano. It was talking about like needing time to tune out uh, other the outside world and needing time to let something incubate. So again, dormancy and incubation, um, chrysalis, right? The cocoon, the cocoon stage. So this, whatever was tapped here was not meant to be uh, revealed or opened up just yet, okay? So in time, <laughs> it will be, but I think not now. So that's it, That's that concludes this video reading. Um, if you have been watching up until this point, thank you for your energy. Um, definitely click the like uh, button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to get notifications of new videos. But yeah, I appreciate your energy here. I appreciate that you participated in this interesting experiment. Definitely share in the comments. Um, if you're one of the, if you're a viewer who got a lot of synchronicities through these, uh, through this experiment and yeah, that's it for now. See you at the next reading. Take care.